what you should never say to a guy. Hello ladies and welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm Alex Comment with Coach Andres. How are you doing Andres? Doing great. Thank you for having me. So we have an important topic today. What you should never say <laughs> to a man. <laughs> this is a question that came from an email and uh, from Christina. Thanks so much Christina for writing this email to us. So she said, okay, I want to know what I should not done because what I should never do to a man or say because she's dating this guy. She loves him and she knows that sometimes she can make a misstep. So if you're watching this video, we will share with you the tools, the subject, the topic that you should never say to a man. But before to give you the tips, we want you to smash the like button and of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the clock so you can receive all the videos directly in your inbox. So what you should never say to a man, something that just pop up immediately to my mind because I've coached several women that have done this in the past is to compare this guy to your ex. So mm. ladies, I understand sometimes it comes from, you know, you want like open up. Oh, I want mm. to tell you my ex was doing this. Are you doing this? This is funny. Even if you're complimenting this new guy, even if it's a compliment, if you talk about your ex, I feel that this is a mistake. What do you think on this? I think that's a huge mistake. Um, I think that comparison, comparing your old relationship to your current one hasn't really shown that you've grown or you know got over a certain situation. You never really want to compare openly with someone like that. I think it's very normal to think that and to feel that for yourself and even share it with a friend. But you don't want to bring that up to the, to the other significant other because that's going to start plugging in their mind that you're constantly comparing the what could have, should have of the past relationship to this one. And that's something that you're, you're constantly looking backwards on. In any relationship, you got to look forward. So bringing up the ex is... Mm. It's not a good idea. And <laughs> I, I, honestly, Andres is very nice. Me, I will say that, guys, we have an ego. That's like the worst thing, to be honest. That's... Like, it's another word, like... Ego. Yeah. Ego trip is like, we have ego, ladies. So you cannot talk about your ex. And honestly, imagine the same situation. Him talking about his ex-girlfriend comparing to you. Yeah. You will not like it, right? No. No, for yeah. sure. So number one, please, don't talk about the ex. Don't bring the ex in the situation. We want to be focused on the present moment. The second thing that I have seen a lot, and I know it's the same for you, Andres, it's to openly talk about your feelings, but too fast. So if you are still dating and you want to tell him that you love him, that you have never felt like this for anyone else, it's not a bad thing, but I'm scared that you will push him away. He will also be scared. So what do you think of this, Andres, when you talk too easily about your feelings without connecting during a long time with this guy? Well, I think you're taking a risk to put your feelings out there to make yourself vulnerable. I think it's too soon, too much, too early. Um, it's great that you feel those things, but you don't want to overwhelm anyone. You know, you want, if anything, you can show those emotions or those feelings through little acts of activities or maybe a note or a little, you know, a nice cooked meal. But to verbally o openly share something so vulnerable and so deep too quickly can make the guy scared. Sometimes you can tell him what you like about him, but talking about your feelings, if the guy is like, you know, sometimes avoidant, he doesn't like to commit to a relationship or he wants to take his time, this will push him away. So... Tip number two that you need to be careful is about talking about feelings. Tip number three, what you should never say to a man because then you will push him away, is that you need to be careful to attack his values. So if he loves something so much and you attack this thing, for example, if he loves to work and you say, oh, you're working too much, I don't understand you, this will push him away immediately. Values are so important in life. Values are huge. Values and morals make you who you are. And I think with, uh, with work as an example, I think family is another example. Yep. If someone doesn't respect or appreciate your or values, religion. Or religion. That's another big one. So those are three huge examples of where you could overstep your boundaries or step on someone's toes on something very important to the other person. So it doesn't mean that you have to agree with everything. No. But at least you have to make sure that you will not hurt that person, right? So what is very important in this case is to have this empathy of, okay, I can feel this is very important for him. Sometimes I can say I disagree, but you don't attack his values. That's like something very much important. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. What you should never say to a man. Andres, do you recommend women to talk about, I want kids, I want to get married, for example, during the first few dates? 
first few dates, <laughs> uh, unless he asks, no. Um, I think there's a there's are times where the gentleman will ask because they want to know what the the timeline is, what your big picture is, and I think that's a great thing to be on the same page. But if it's not asked, you do definitely don't want to bring that all up. I think there's a there's the great excitement for it, but there's a time and place for all of that. And you know, I feel like men we are disconnecting. If you come and say, okay, I want to get married, okay, but we don't know each other yet. So it's kind of like you bring the relationship you want, so you will not listen to him, right? And I just want to say this because I've coached so many women. You were in a situation of dating. Everything was fine. And you wanted to show him that you love him. It's not sometimes what you say. It's also what you do. So you have to be careful because men love to chase. You know my philosophy. You know our philosophy. We are here to provide you the support you want. Um, do you have something else in mind that things that you shouldn't, that ladies should never say? Uh, one of the classics I'd say is uh, you should know what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, no, we don't. We don't know what you're thinking. And we never really will. Uh, but we'll try. And we want to. So please try to elaborate and share on those things before you assume anything. Because you might take the wrong actions uh, based on your assumption. And that's not healthy for anyone. This is kind, kind of a situation that can also make a breakup, you know? Yes. So we have to be careful in this situation. As Andres is saying, men, we have some difficulty to understand your emotions, right? So you want to talk, you want to open, but not about your feelings and the love because sometimes you will be making him scared and so he will just pull away. Yes. Something that we want to, to avoid. Well, to add on to what he just pointed out there was that when you open up too much too quickly, it really devalues who you are and what you have to offer. It makes, it makes someone raise a question or a flag up and saying, why are they opening up too much? Why are they giving me too much? Is there something, is there a catch? Is she hiding something? And that's where you want to basically reciprocate their emotions back and forth at a good pace. You know, when they hit the ball, you hit the ball back. You don't constantly just go one against the wall and hopefully you get a return. You have to casually play tennis together. Return the ball, serve the ball. Return the ball, serve the ball. And so when someone constantly overwhelms you with that, you're, you don't even want to play the game anymore. You're turned off. And, you know, this is not, as he said, this is not bringing your value up. And you have to enjoy this process. You have to enjoy the attraction, the flirting, the charming situation. It's not easy if you didn't receive this vision or education. For me as a Frenchman, you know, and for us as coaches, we know how to help you with this. So you need to click in the description just right below. Get your gift. You have an amazing book. You have videos, private videos just for you ladies. If you want to go further, you will love these resources, right? And of course, you have to smash the like button. This is very important. <laughs> we like the smiles. We like this, the likes. We want this. We want this. And subscribe to this YouTube channel because we want to grow this community. We want to help like every woman in yeah. this earth. This is, this is our mission. This is why we are doing this. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to go further, just come on the website, FrenchRelationshipExpert.com. You have tons of articles. You can book a private coaching session with Coach Andres, myself. We are here and dedicated to you. So it's very much important. Yes. Ladies, see you soon for a new video. If you have any topic in mind, just ask us in the comment section because we are reading every comment. That's how we bring up these videos for you. See you soon, ladies. Take care. Bye, Andres. Thank you. That was amazing.